I'm in Dixon, California. This is an antique motorcycle swap meet and show. <laughs> this bike's gonna stick out like a turd in a punch bowl here. Uh, it does fit in. Uh, it's 38 years old. The cutoff was 35. Wonder what that dude's got in there. There's my happy little spot way over here off to the side. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Next, uh, little toy hauler. This is quite a unit here. What a setup. Oh, I was going to see what he's got behind his rig, but that's somebody else's stuff. I see. Starklight Cycle Authorized Sales Service Indian. Located inside building. Is that the building? Look at all this stuff. Wow. A single carburetor, two cylinder here. Well, I've never been to this event before, and clearly, it looks like it's more swap meet centric than motorcycle show centric. There's just stuff forever here. I think I'll find any RZ350 or RZ500 stuff here. I have my doubts. $50K or best offer. He's going to start this thing. He says he has to prime it first, and it's going to take a while. All right, looks like he's got to make some adjustments. Sometimes, Maybe sometimes I'll come back and... Sometimes cable adjustment, your cable slip a little bit. I'm still on the first row here. Just a lot of stuff here. What else you got in there? So this is some... Oh, yes. These are my mini bikes. There's my motorcycles. i got they a couple do. cars. More and more stuff. Okay, I'm finishing up the first row now. Here's a pan top on late shovel lower five speed, $15,000. And there's a Harley Davidson tire. I'm going down row number two now. More stuff. There's a $1,000 Honda Trail 90 and a $50,000 1911 Harley 7A. I need one of those. All right, we got it running. Getting that idle adjusted. Another $50,000 Harley 1928. That's more my style. $200. <laughs> Today, I'm identifying as a man, so I'm going to use this side over here. Here we go. Does this thing have a dry clutch? It sure does. Wow. All right, heading down another row, row three, I'll call it. I think that's a 400. Those look a little more comfortable than the seat on my 500. I might get one retrofitted on there. There's one of those wicker bikes. Those are rare. 
There's lots of nice projects around here for Ken's garage. This is a good starter bike. How about a new Springer front end for one of my project bikes? Got a few vintage California license plates here. Alright, finished row number three. Now we go down row number four. I said that was a dry clutch. It's not a dry clutch. He's got a cover on it. What a beautiful, beautiful bike you have. What's your name? Steve. I'm Ken. Got the R6 uh, brakes with the adapters, or brake. <laughs> R1. And another cool cover on the statter side. These rear sets look really, really nice. You've put a little effort into fasteners too. Look at these fancy fasteners, gold uh, anodized or? Some of them are titanium. Are these titanium? No, these aren't. The ones inside the are the clutch. Nice. Wow. Those are I think these are titanium. There's another bro, another really nice RD400. Wow. Look at that shiny cover. Yeah. Did you polish that yourself? That's chrome. Oh, it's yeah, chrome plated. I had the side covers chrome and I had a bunch of chrome done on it. No polishing required. You did that and then you went and had a shirt made. That's right. Nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, This is row five. I believe I left off over there. I don't remember now. I think those are our six forks. And I think this is an R1 front end. A little bit beefier than the R6 ones over there. And I'm on my last row. And this one is a 1946 for $31,000. This here is the official judging area. And they have it blocked off right now while they're doing the judging. And I'll be heading over here in a few minutes. Not for breakfast, for lunch. This time I'm identifying as a female, so I'm going to go to that side. I 
would say I've ridden it about 3,215 and a half miles. How is the power band up in the truck? good show it was nice to have a couple of two-stroke bros there had a great time I'm going back home a different way this is on uh, probably mostly two-lane roads all the way back home